Welcome back, everyone. Well, tonight we venture across the border to the heart of Juarez, where local artists and musicians are working to transform a building and create a transformative cultural center. After a brief 15-minute walk across the border, we arrive in downtown Juarez at our destination, a distinctly shaped trapezoid building, and on the second floor, an innovative experiment in creativity is unfolding. I'm a contemporary artist. I'm also a professor at the university. Um, my brother is an actor. Uh, my partner is an architect. So we really wanted a space for the community. Aidi Alonso is one of the creatives behind this project, known as San Luis Contemporáneo. And so the whole point of it is to be this multifunctional space, that it changes depending on what the uh, creative um, people uh, really need, no? from Juarez, El Paso. So we really want to um, encourage this cross-cultural dialogue between both, both cities. On a recent Saturday, the featured artists here were busy adding final touches to a new exhibit that explores a fitting topic, the complicated narrative of the U.S.-Mexico border. It could be totally, you know, symbolic, imaginary. It doesn't have to be a physical line, but in our minds, I feel like we read it as this sort of barrier or line that's just dividing the two. Nabil Gonzalez is an assistant professor at UTEP's art department. Her print work explores the way that people interpret borders. In fact, this literal line of sand that runs through the exhibit is part of her show. I'm very interested in that seeing, you know, if people are gonna cross over it, if they're gonna jump, if they're gonna notice the line, or are they just kind of walking and spreading the sand and sort of like getting rid of that line? getting rid of the border and becoming one. Daniel Guerrero is a Juarez-based artist who created this installation, which he says can be interpreted as a metaphor for migration. Yo creo que dentro del arte hay distintas formas de transmitir una idea. I think inside art there are different ways to communicate an idea. I focus on metaphors and imagination. This piece is inspired by the poetry of Isabel Zapata and the similarities between humans and whales. The whales migrate to different places. They travel in groups. They have mates. So with all these similarities, I thought about what would a whale do in the desert? The building that houses this space has been a fixture in Juarez for 80 years. And the creators of San Luis Contemporáneo are hopeful that this space will resonate with the public bringing to life a binational venue for artistic and cultural expression. So right now, I think the way that we're functioning is just by donation. We're not charging rent. If a painting is sold, we don't charge excessive commissions or anything, um, because I know firsthand how difficult it is to be a border artist and to have a place to exhibit artwork. Um, so it's, it's a lot of work, but it's very fulfilling. Yeah. Uh -huh. San Luis Contemporáneo is located on Avenida Juárez. It is currently only open on Saturdays or by appointment. Now, the exhibit that you saw there, Voces en Tinta, runs through May 4th. You can find more information about them on our website, kfoxtv.com.